Hello, Jam and Thrive kids and parents. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Miss Christine, and we are on the last week of the Red Letter Challenge for Kids. And this week is all about going, and we're learning what that looks like. Now we're on day 35. Our reading for today is from Matthew chapter 25, verse 35. It says, For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you welcomed me. Now, this is going to be one of those videos where right off the bat, I give you a challenge. Your challenge is going to be to draw a map of your neighborhood. So what I want you to do is draw a picture of your house, and then the house is right around you. Draw a picture of your neighborhood. You could also go on the computer, look up your address, and print out kind of a Google map image of your entire neighborhood, okay? So go ahead and do that, and then come on back to this video. All right, so hopefully you have a nice map of your neighborhood. Now, I want you guys to see how many names of your neighbors you know. So write in the names of all the people that you know in your neighborhood. How many did you know? Do you know their first names? Do you know their last names? So you might just know them as the man that walks his dog in the evening, or the lady that's always gardening, or the kids that like to play soccer and are always outside. Even if you live in the country, you have neighbors who live close to you when you drive home, right? See, there's a lot of different neighborhoods throughout the country, but they all have something in common. Do you know what that is? All neighborhoods have neighbors. <laughs> See, on day 34, we talked about who we go to with the love of Jesus. We talked about how we give that love of Jesus in our homes to our families. But today, we're talking about where we go with the love of Jesus. See, we boldly go beyond our homes and out of our families into our neighborhoods and community. In Matthew chapter 25, verse 35, Jesus says, I was a stranger and you welcomed me. By this, he doesn't mean he was walking down your street hoping you would offer him some lemonade and say hi. What Jesus means is that by doing little acts of kindness for other people, including our neighbors, we are doing them ultimately for him. We are doing them for Jesus. See, remember back on day 29, we learned that when we give food or help the sick or visit those in prison, we do it for Jesus. In the same way, when we welcome strangers, when we go to our neighbors, we are ultimately going to Jesus. And that's really cool. See, when we see our actions as helping Jesus, that can make it a whole lot easier to be friendly and kind to our neighbors. You don't have to fly to another country to share God's love. The point is that you can go to the kids and the other people right in your own neighborhood. There's an adventure in your own backyard. So boldly go, go out and share the love of Jesus. Share the resurrection story with them during this Holy Week. See, your challenge today is to say hello to someone that you haven't met yet. So maybe it's a neighbor across the street that you don't know the name of. All you have to do is say hello, ask them what their name is, and then tell them yours. You can even invite them to maybe see our online services. Invite them to church in that way. You can send the link out to your friends or invite them to start watching these videos with you. There are so many ways to share God's love with those that are right in your own neighborhood. So brainstorm together. Is it, are you guys gonna go on a walk and try to find someone that you haven't met yet in your neighborhood? Or are you going to pick up the phone and call that neighbor that you don't know very well and try to get to know them a little bit better? Whatever it is, Jesus calls us to go out to our neighborhood and to meet those people that live around us. So that is your challenge today. I know you can do it. I love you. Jesus loves you. And it's time to end our time with a little bit of a prayer. So if you want to fold your hand and bow your head, we are going to pray to God so you can repeat after me. Dear God, help us to share the love of God with our families and people that live around us. 
Thank you for your love. In your name I pray. Amen. All right, guys, I will see you tomorrow for the next challenge. See you then. Bye.